Hi guys, <laughs> yeah, this is uh well it's a video that I'm making purely from the fact that I've had loads of problems with the Xbox controller uh, on Alaskan truck drivers. I've explained before why I use the controller or why I prefer to use the controller over my wheel. Uh, the reason being that I'm sitting too far from the screen to actually be able to read what's happening in the map. Uh, the GPS has improved but um, I still prefer to use the controller for this game because you have to use the mouse, you have to uh, get out the truck, you have to use the controller to move your uh, driver and that sort of thing. But anyway, that's that's not the point. The point is I've had lots and lots of problems with the standard Xbox controller to operate this game. Now, admittedly, the controller is not ideal for driving a truck because the truck does jerk about a bit uh, with the controller, but you can steer the truck and it will function fully. But there's a major problem with Steam. The, the, the problem is Steam. I've got a, I've got a crappy uh, Chinese truck driving game called Truck Life. And I'll tell you something about that. It's, it's probably one of the worst truck. It's not the worst. I'll take that back. I, I, I saw a, I, I saw an even worse truck driving game on one of the other guys' channels. But this uh, truck driving game is set in China. It's all Chinese, um, and I used to be able to drive that game with the Xbox controller. Now, now no functionality with the controller and I'll tell you what it's to, to do with Steam have this Steam controller settings thing in a lot of these games and I'll show you on uh, Alaskan Truckers just as an example but a, a lot of other driving games have the same problem uh, if you go into properties and you look at controller you've got all this list of stuff that Steam seems to think it needs in order for you to operate a game. Um, I finally worked out what the problem is. The problem is Steam. And uh, if you notice here, uh, it's detected my Xbox controller, but I've got it disabled. And uh, if you go into the, if you look at that there, there's a drop down. Uh, in order to get the Xbox controller to, to function properly so you can drive your truck, you need to disable the Steam input. So you choose that from the drop-down, which I've already done. And you also need to go into the controller general settings. And when you go in there, uh, you will see that there's a whole list of stuff here where there's a slider that can go across. Now, there is one slider that I've got activated, and that is Enable Steam Input for Generic Controllers. That's the only one I've got on. Uh, everything else is off. So if I shut that down and right-click again, just as a, a reminder, and go to Properties and go to Controller, make sure that that is disabled and make sure that when you've done what I've just showed you in there, and just uh, enable Steam for generic controllers, then that should all say disabled. Down there it says Steam controller, uh, which I don't have. It says enabled, always required, and remote play enabled, always required. That's nothing to do with the uh, Alaska Truck Drivers game, but if you have that setting, then you'll be able to drive the truck. Uh, I did uh, a job today just before I make, that made this video and it all works. I can guarantee it will work your Xbox controller. So if you've been having issues, do what I've just showed you and you'll be happy as Larry. You'll be able to use your Xbox controller. I know there's a number of people more than me had the same issue with the truck not steering properly and it was undrivable. You, you couldn't play the game using a controller. Uh, so see how you go and let me know in the comments. And good luck and happy driving.